You raise your children and you're always expecting them to grow and get married, going to college, having kids, and all of a sudden you get a phone call. It's every parent's worst nightmare. I'm Tiago's stepfather. I raised him as my own since he was three and a half years old. Richfield's own Tiago Andrade was killed in a car crash in Rockville, New Jersey just over a year ago. He was 17. He was pretty much like my brother. We did everything together. We played soccer together. He used to play the drums, uh, and I, I'm a drummer too, so. So it's been very difficult, but we've been getting a lot of support, uh, church and family members, friends, his friends from high school. And from that support has sprung an idea, a town-wide day of healing for anyone who has ever lost someone they love. I think there's a lot of people that have been affected by loss in this town. Many uh, people have lost um, family members, friends, and especially over the past like six years, we've had um, lots of recent deaths. Tiago's um, was one of them. The event has been officially dubbed Richfield Remembers, a day of celebration. Well, it's going to be like a cookout type thing, and also like we're going to have like a dunk tank, moon bounce, stuff for kids. And a day to commemorate. This open field will serve as a launching ground for over 100 symbolic biodegradable balloons. We're going to have um, a balloon release ceremony where um, we're going to have all the guests write um, things about they want uh, their loved one to know that have passed away, and then we're going to release them into the air. So far, Tiago's friends and family have raised about $1,200. They're asking anyone who wants to donate or to attend to log on to richfieldremembers.org. The event is set to take place right here at the Boys and Girls Club on June 6th. In Richfield, Kimberly Howard for Richfield Patch.